Another little small update, man. No more wiring. All the wiring janked out. No, no fuse box. No nada. Gotta sleep my little tired dog, though. All the wiring pulled out. Looks like shit. It's gotta look worse before it looks better. I haven't got to this one. It's just the tail light wiring and the license plate light, and that's all that is. All the rest of the wiring's out. Got the new harness right there. Getting ready to pop in. Been busting butt on this thing. Ordered a new dome light. That was crappy. It's getting there. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. Got the new dash still right there. Anybody wants to buy the old harness? If you got a Project Chevelle and you don't have a harness, there's an old factory harness right there. Sweeper style dash. Somebody needs that. I'll sell them that. The next winter, I will sell this complete interior. Except for the new dash, I sell the console. All the trim, the seats, I'll sell it all. Carpet, everything. If anybody's interested. My little sleepy dog. It's getting there though, man, it's getting there. Everything takes time. Get ready to yank that, uh, that MSD box out. Put the new MSD box in here. Get it all in here a lot better than what's in there now. Wire it up a lot nicer. I got the new column that I gotta put in here too. Yep. Slow progress, man. Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, until next time, give you guys a little update once I start putting, once I start putting it all back together, give you guys another little update. Later. Alright man. One more little update on this stuff. Got all the wiring yanked out of here. I painted up the fender walls a little bit better. They're still kind of crappy, but I'm not really worried about it. Until I get the car painted, then they'll look a whole lot better. Just one thing. Throw some amount of trim black on them for now. Make them a little bit better than what it was. Gotta get the black all plate for that, because they had some cardboard sp or spray painted crap ass wood cardboard. I don't know what was there. It was a joke though. I, I don't know what these people were doing, to be quite honest with you. But yeah. All the wiring's out for the most part now. Getting ready to start tomorrow, probably. On our new wiring, today's New Year's Eve. Got that in, like I said, I'm waiting on the alternator to send it back, because it's messed up, Mechman 300. So, we'll see what they have to say. Can't send it back till like Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. But it's definitely getting there, man. No more garbage wiring. They put the painless harness in there. Clean it all up the best that I could for now. Looking a whole lot better. Got the mud in there, kind of like just chilling, relaxing. No wiring in here, no dash. Like I said before in the other video, well, this is gonna be the same video. I got a full wiring harness that came out of the car. It's not it's horrible. It's just not what I wanted, but somebody needs a good project. Hey man, there's a perfectly good wiring harness for a 70 Chevelle. Just needs a little bit of tinkering. Got the dash with the sweeper gauge there. I'm gonna sell the dash, sell the wiring harness, everything. I'll sell the dash and the complete wiring harness, man, for 400 bucks. I will be selling the seats and the rest of the panels later down the line. Council, all that stuff down the line. I'll be selling all that stuff for maybe somebody needs it. The only wire that I didn't get is these bumpers. Gotta yank off this back bumper. 
Once again, go to the back bumper. I'm going to get the tail light section now. Unless one of you guys know of a way to not have to pull the back bumper off to get this rear tail light section wiring harness out of here. I'm not for sure. But that was sort of my best guess is to yank the bumper off. Can't really see no other way. But maybe somebody out there in YouTube land has some advice or a better way or have done it. Car's getting there, man. It's getting there. Little pup likes to lay in there. There's a little layout, hangout, uh, sleeping, a little hangout spot. Headliner is completely out. No headliner. Ordered all this trim new right here. I got the old trim. It ain't in bad shape. One of the little pieces, like right here, it has a little kink in it. So I just wanted to go ahead and put new in there because I'm redoing a car. So I got that stuff for sale too. I sell them for 75 bucks. I know that they're $200 because I just paid them, paid that for them. So I sell all them trim pieces, the headliner pieces for two or 75. Anybody needs them? I got this steering column in here. I'm going to be selling. I saw that steering column, 50, 75 bucks, something like that. I don't know. Make me an offer. It's getting there though, man. Slowly but surely. Progress. So anybody got any suggestions of what I should do next? Let me know. I'm waiting for the vintage AC stuff to see if maybe it comes with the black off plate. I don't know if it does or not. I'd like to see if it does before I just order a black off plate. But I'm liking I got a new fuel line here. Got all new fuel line up there. I got six uh, AN fuel lines. Match the rest of the stuff. I'm just waiting for a couple more fittings and I got a new 6AN uh, fuel filter for up here, black one. So everything will be nice and screw together. Won't have any more hose clamps really on much in here. I'm going to buy new radiator hoses pretty soon. I may even buy a new radiator, an all aluminum radiator with the electric fans built in and the reservoir built in. But unfortunately, my credit card's close to max out right now on this thing. I figure I pay off this winter all the credit cards, pay them all off. And then next winter is my plan, is pay off the credit cards this, the rest of this winter and the summer. And then next winter, I plan on doing the big brake kit, uh, the wheel wood brake kit for wood disc brakes, a full suspension kit for the car, uh, probably have the frame yanked off, sandblasted, powder coated, full like a UMI suspension kit on the car, and I'm going to buy the full TMI interior kit next winter. And then that'll probably end up killing my credit cards again, I'll probably some of the trim stuff, buy maybe the glass and stuff like that. And that'll probably kill the credit card, like I said again. Then what I'll do is pay off the credit cards once again i'll pay off the credit cards that winter next winter and that that following summer and the suspension and all that'll be done wiring motor efi system will be in here by then the brakes and then that following you know winter is when i'm going to save up and get the body and paint done then it should be done after that body and paint. I'm just gonna do it in like a three-step process is my goal. I figure it'd be easier on me, easier on the pockets, easier on everything. It'd probably work out a lot better. So give me your guys' thoughts on what you think. Have any ideas, suggestions, or anything else? You see anything that I'm doing that you don't approve of? Let me know.